This instructional video will step you through the ballast bypass process to replace a traditional 400 watt metal halide floodlight with a more efficient 40 watt star LED semi corn light. We remove the light housing to show you the process in a controlled environment. Here on our workbench you can get a better close up view of the process. You will want to flip the unit where you can access the open to the housing to easily access the electronics inside. Here you can see the traditional 400 watt metal halide light bulb. Make sure that you have given the light sufficient time to cool down since these light bulbs can reach over 500 degrees. Next, you will want to remove the aluminum reflector. The reflector helps amplify and spread the light. Finally, you'll want to remove the insulation. In this unit, the insulation is a treated cardboard type material that has become dried out and brittle. Now, you can see all the wires, the capacitor, and ballast within the light unit. We take one last look at the metal halide light bulb to get an idea of the size and fit. We now show you the replacement Star LED Semi Corn light bulb. The back of the light bulb has aluminum fins to dissipate the heat from within the light bulb's driver. You will also note that the light bulb's 120 volt to 277 volt AC requirement, output at 40 watts, and the UL certification. From the back, you can see the hot wire in, neutral wire, and ground wire. These wires go directly into ballast. We are going to pull the wires back into the housing since we want to replace the power cable also. Note that the white wires go into the ballast and the green wire is grounded to the inside of the housing. Here we show you the new power cable with a black hot wire, white neutral wire, and a green ground wire. We will push the wire through the back into the housing. We will want to replace the old wire nuts with new ones. You will first connect the ground wires together. Next, we will want to connect the neutral wire from the power cord directly to the white neutral wire going into the E39 socket.
Finally, we connect the black hot wire to the wire directly attached to the E39 socket. Now that we've completed the ballast part, we will reassemble the floodlight in reverse order. First, we put back the insulated heat paper. Next, we want to put the aluminum reflector back into place. After that is done, we can screw in the new Star LED semi corn light and angle the light by back turning it into place. We suggest that you replace the watertight rubber stripping before closing the housing. Now you are ready to reinstall the floodlight into the desired location. We invite you to check out all of our E39 socket, high bay lights, and corn lights at StarLEDOnline.com.